Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. The FBI, as an organization, has joined in the hunt for Christians, and we have proof of it. The FBI tried to manufacture crimes against sincere Catholics. The FBI's Richmond Field Office recently published an internal document promising to punish, quote, radical traditionalist Catholics and their ideology. Now, to, just to make something completely clear, the Bill of Rights prohibits the government from weighing in on sectarian or religious questions. They don't get to decide whether your religion is good or bad. They have to be agnostic on it. But the FBI has decided if you're too sincere about Catholicism, you're a criminal. The document cites obvious lies from the fascist and dishonest Southern Poverty Law Center several times. The FBI as an organization. So as you see in the video, Christians are going to be on a hunt by the FBI. So pretty much... If you have a Bible in your hand, you're going to be convicted as a criminal. And this is going into famine of the word. Famine of the word is coming. So before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Waha, Wachachodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but it's one only true name. Is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Yahweh Shai camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And yeah, pretty much famine of the word is coming. So let's get this out again. Amos 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of the hearing of the words of the Lord. See, of the hearing of the words of the Lord. All right. Famine of the word is coming. All right. Meaning that you're not going to be able to get the truth. You're not going to be able to go on YouTube and get the truth. You're not going to be able to go on any social media platform and get the truth anymore. Feminine of the word is coming. They're going to make it a law where if you're teaching the Bible or you believe in the Bible, you're going to be labeled as a criminal. So they're going to get rid of the ministry, the truth. They're going to they're going to terminate it. They're going to, again, this goes in also into the, into an EMP attack, right? You're not going to be able to get the truth. Feminine of the word. Verse 12, it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea, right? They shall wander from sea to sea, from country to country, and from north even to the east, from city to city. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord. So how are we able to seek the Lord right now in this present time? The elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the men of the Lord that's out there street teaching. You know, you got brothers out there, the elders and brothers, they teach once a week out there. It could be a Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday, a Thursday, a Friday, a Saturday, a Sunday. They're out there street teaching, right? The, the the videos, right? Tuning into the live videos, the live streams, right? That's how we're able to seek the Lord through his prophets, through his men. But if they get rid of that and they abolish, abolish that and make it a law that you can't street teach or you can't teach the Bible and you can't do no videos on YouTube or any of that, they get rid of that and pass a law and say, if you got a Bible in your hand or you're you're believing in, 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 in the Bible, you're a criminal. This is going into feminine of the word. You know, the elders said that this was going to happen. Right. Elder Apostle Tahar, he even said it. He said this is a hopeful year of all prophecies to come to pass. And it's 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 coming. Look at the things that's going on. Let's read that again. Amos 8 and 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from and from the north, even unto the east. They shall run. They shall they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. This is going into feminine of the word. All right, all you people out there that's been mocking the prophets, that's been mocking the men of the Lord, that's been speaking against this truth, this ministry, that's how been, that's been doing these things. Well, guess what? You're going to have a rude awakening because you're not going to be able to get the truth. You had time to get the truth. You had chances and chances and chances to get this truth and you rebelled against it. 
you revolted against it. Right? You didn't want to hearken to it. So now famine of the word is coming. You're not going to be able to go on social media and look up the, the meaning of the name of the Lord. You're going to be able to find that no more. You're going to try to go out to those highways and byways where those brothers in the area they were teaching. And they're not going to be there anymore. This is what is coming. Famine of the word is coming. So, hey, Lord willing this is edifying. We're coming into these last yeah, days. As an organization has joined in the hunt for Christians. And we have proof of it. The FBI tried to manufacture crimes against sincere Catholics. The FBI's Richmond Field Office recently published an internal document promising to punish, quote, radical traditionalist Catholics and their ideology. Now, j just to make something completely clear, the Bill of Rights prohibits the government from weighing in on sectarian or religious questions. They don't get to decide whether your religion is good or bad. They have to be agnostic on it. But the FBI has decided if you're too sincere about Catholicism, you're a criminal. The document cites obvious lies from the fascist and dishonest Southern Poverty Law Center several times. So it's not looking good. Feminine word is coming. Shalom.